it's 1030. That means it's time for some celebrity dish, and it is a family affair. We have our Fox 5 contributor, Real Housewives of Potomac star, Ashley Darby. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Okay, lady in red. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Did you yes. even plan us? We did. Oh, we were thinking about it <laughs> earlier, T sent her a text and said, listen, red is the red. Is the yeah, color of the and day. you see me and Makia every day. I know. Well, so why we didn't get the group chat? Well, the thing is, I, I don't get to see her. Good job, Steve. the Nicki Minaj concert in yeah. D.C. the other night. Yeah, How we had a that? great time. Um, NECA, Sharice, Giselle, Robin and I went. Mia was supposed to come, but she wasn't feeling well, so that's why she wasn't there. So my friend Jules came with us as well. We had a time. She put on a fantastic show, and then she brought the girls backstage afterward into her very cool pink Ooh. dressing room. Oh my. Gave us all some of her press-on nails, and we sat and chatted for almost two hours. I so love it. She's a real one for that, because I was tired. <laughs> Listen to my voice. And Nikki put on a whole show and still chatted with us. I was so impressed. That's wow. awesome. Yeah. And she's yeah. been a huge fan of the show, too, mm -hmm. for so long. I believe hosting one of the reunions, too. Yeah. yeah. Back. Well, yeah. well, we got to ask you a quick check on Karen. Is she okay? I haven't spoken to Karen. Uh, I was with Giselle yesterday, and she and Karen are supposed to meet up this week. So, okay. Okay. Uh, or next week, I should say. So we'll find out. Okay, okay we'll check good. back in. Well, speaking yeah. of the housewives yeah. on Potomac, uh, Andy Cohen is clearly frustrated with you and all the other ladies, Ashley, oh. sharing mm -hmm. viewer frustration with the ladies during part one of the reunion show. Here's what he had to say. You know, I have to say, I love this show. But as a fan, it was somewhat frustrating to watch this season because the show, you know, is about finding common ground. And it's about taking ownership of actions as they affect others. Are any of you willing to say now that you feel prepared to do that tonight? Andy, I believe in these women, um, each and every one of them. I know they went through a lot, but I do believe that these girls can pull through, and I expect nothing less tonight. Okay. I'm looking forward as well to owning what I need to own and moving forward. Anyone else? Count me in. Good. Yeah, count me in too. Also, a couple of other highlights. Robin Dixon says she's not certain that Juan hasn't cheated on her. Uh, Candace Dillard Bassett's poster board of receipts, she pulled that out as well. And then also the continuing conversation on colorism uh, continued between both Candace and Giselle as both opened up about their thoughts on the matter and what the future of their relationship looks like. So. What were the highlights for you, and did any of these stand out, Ashley? Well, that was a really tough reunion. It was really hard because I feel like everybody has to have ownership and take accountability. Otherwise, we're stuck in the mud. And right. I felt mm -hmm. so stuck in the mud. We filmed the reunion for 12 hours, and I was like, when are we going to have some forward momentum? You know, and it was feeling frustrating for me because... One of the things that we have to do as a group, especially in this environment, is you have to be willing to say, I'm sorry, I messed up, let's move on. But mm -hmm. not everyone was willing to do that, and it was just getting, it was tough. Do you think that that could eventually happen, especially between Giselle and Candace? We saw they really weren't able to come on to common ground with that reunion. And from what I read, too, I mean, there were certain scenes or just certain parts of this season that couldn't be filmed with them, what, separate? They had to be in a, a group? Talk about that. You mean there were parts where they couldn't film together, is what you said? Yeah, but when they were filmed, they were with in the group setting versus oh, yes. being filmed together outside of the group. It just seems like there's just so yeah. much tension. Yeah, no, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Uh, yeah. The ladies are holding very strongly with, with their viewpoints. Uh, mm -hmm. But clearly, as you see with a lot of housewives in the past, it happens. It, Rome wasn't built in a day. But mm -hmm. with other housewives, we've seen that it, where it seems like you can't have any momentum, it moves, but I just don't know how long it's going to take. Okay. I think it's only fair that, you know, since Andy was able to say his part, what are your parts on Andy as a co-executive and uh, or an executive producer on this, as well as his way of moderating this conversation? You know, no one really asks me that, Stephen, so thank you. Oh, um, but I really do, I think he does a great job. It's a very hard thing to navigate, especially being amongst black women. He's a white man on a show with all black women, mm -hmm. and it's some very sensitive topics we discuss. And I appreciate, and I've always said this, I appreciate how he handles them because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And he delivers just the right amount of shade, you know? <laughs> and he's acknowledged, he hey, I'm the only one here. You know, he acknowledges that. So. He does, yeah. Yeah, much more.
All right. Yeah. Well, we got to move on and talk about some other things. Well, we've been talking about last month's Diddy Miami and Los Angeles homes are being raided by the Department of Homeland Security, reportedly in connection to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. And now more people are getting involved in the Diddy drama. And Chris, say it ain't so. I, I knew this was going to happen, but I, I just didn't want the family to get involved. Well, the family is speaking out about that actual raid and what went down, and they are not happy about it. We are talking about fashion designer Misa Hilton. She has broken her silence on that recent raid, like you said, and what her son experienced while at his dad Diddy's home. So Diddy was not in his L.A. home when the raid happened, but both of his sons were. Justin and Christian were both detained in cuffs outside of the mansion during the raid. Misa captioned an Instagram post saying, enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? She continued saying that her son's attorney is investigating the excessive use of force and that she is not with this propaganda, guys. Ashley? When I saw what was happening with the sons, my jaw was on the floor. Mm. So as a mom myself, I can understand how she feels. Her baby, I mean, that's scary. Yeah. And not to share too much, I've actually had guns and lasers pointed at me before, okay? So I know how traumatizing that is in the long-lasting effects of it. Wow, mm. there's so much there, and uh, I think a lot yeah. of people had that reaction, especially when they found out that no charges had yeah. been filed, no yeah. one's under arrest, mm -hmm. yeah. and it seemed excessive. But at the same time, those are some serious allegations. True. And this isn't their first time at it, Homeland Security, you know, raiding. Mm -hmm. They may have more than we are even privy to, so we just have to watch and see yeah, yeah. what mom happens. can be concerned. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. And yeah. armored vehicles absolutely. outside of the home, helicopters, drones inside. I mean, just the whole mm -hmm. setting is alarming in yeah. general. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll wrap things up with Lizzo. We talked about this earlier in the week. She had that emotional and lengthy Instagram post announcing that she quote unquote quit. And we wondered whether that meant she was quitting music or she was quitting social media. And it turns out the answer is neither. So the message came as she told fans she was quote tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in her life and on the internet. And that same post under the message, she wrote that I quit that we talked about, which had many fans speculating what she meant. The Truth Hurt singer, though, returned to social media, this time speaking out about what she meant, clarifying what she meant. She says she's quitting, giving any negative energy attention, and that what she's not going to do is quit the joy of her life, which is making music anytime soon. So last year, remember, some of Lizzo's former dancers filed a lawsuit against her, alleging sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. And Marissa, you kind of pointed out a little something in that social media video that Lizzo also was wearing and how that may tie into this whole thing. Yeah, I'm just a little curious mm -hmm. since we're talking about cryptic messaging because that's mm -hmm. how all of this got started. Uh, she just announced a shapewear line and she's wearing one of her pieces in the clarification video. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying all of this was a ploy for attention, but I'm saying it's highly suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's highly you, suspicious. I'm yeah, yeah, to pull it through the weeds. Uh, <laughs> I, do you think that it was that clear? That, that's what it is? Yeah, if that's what it was. Well, if you're reading in between the lines, mm -hmm. possibly. Okay. Uh, listen, Lizzo is a very talented singer, songwriter, and I want to put the emphasis on song writer. Yes. She knows mm -hmm. the power of words. Yes. And so just saying, I quit, she could do whatever she wanted to do with mm -hmm. it. It was and open she got to her interpretation. Yeah. 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 That's Ultimately. good. Yeah. yeah. I'm a wordsmith myself. Look at it. I love it. Yes. Well,